Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at ADA. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. Now, I do want to mention the two donation links that I have down below in the description. If you want to support the Ukrainian refugees, then you can do so by going over to the official websites and you can donate straight to the funds. The money does not go through me in any sort of way. So thank you all for supporting Ukraine and thank you all for supporting the channel. Let's get on with the TA. So jumping into the daily chart, let me just zoom out a little bit so that you can see the Fibonacci retracement that I have set up. So Hopefully it's not going to be that confusing. I'm just going to remove the smaller one because we don't really need that. So we have this large Fibonacci retracement. So you have your swing low here in September of 2020 and you have your swing high here in September of 2021. So this was a move that uh, let me just get the percentages actually for you. So this was a very nice 4000 percent move. So that's, you know, if, if you bought in here in September, August last year uh, or 2020, you would have been up so much. And there were signs that were telling me that Cardano was going to dump. And unfortunately, by the time we got to November, I did sell uh, all of my tokens. But right now I'm buying back into Cardano as well. If you want to get my trade alerts. Feel free to join me on Patreon. But as you can see, what we have done here is we're hovering around the 0 0.5 Fibonacci level. So 48 and a half cents. This is where we're hovering right now. And as you can see, we're in a crab market. We were in this falling wedge here. We managed to break out of it, back test it as support. And right now we're still hovering around the 0 0.5. So currently, if we do see a nice pump with the Vasil hard fork for Cardano on September 22nd, and keep in mind, there is still a potential uh, that we could see another delay. So don't think that this is set in stone. So if there is going to be the buy the rumor and sell the news types type of situation, then I would start taking profits somewhere closer to the golden ratio here at 75 cents. So this is where I'm telling my friends um, you know, a good swing trade opportunity is going to present itself here at 74.99. That's where I'm going to be, you know, planting some resistance levels and sell orders. Because this is the golden ratio. And as you can see, once you started uh, pulling back down from the all time high in February of this year, you managed to bounce from the zone. Then you dropped through the zone in May. You had a nice back test of resistance. And ever since then, you've been in this crab market creating lower, uh, lower highs over here. Once again, as you can see, continuous lower highs. This is a downtrend. And at some point, you are going to get into an uptrend because as you can see, you have uptrend, downtrend, uptrend, downtrend. But with these trends, you keep on getting higher and higher because if you zoom out on the daily chart, you can see that on the large scheme, you are printing a higher low which is great. So you have this high, you have a higher high. So you are in an uptrend on the large picture, right? But if you start zooming in and you go into the, the, the 12 hourly chart, the four hourly chart, things don't look that good. And just don't do that. Just dollar cost average when you can. So on your screen right now, you can see a couple of important levels here. So 31 cents is something that I would be targeting in case of a capitulation. So if we saw Bitcoin drop below uh, 17, 18 thousand dollars, you know, this would be something that we could get to. Maybe if we drop to 14 thousand dollars, altcoins are going to bleed if that happens. So be ready for both outcomes at all times. Now, what we could also do is set up another Fibonacci retracement just so that we could have more targets. And this one would be uh, smaller. So we're going to take this swing high in August and we're going to take this swing low in July. So this is how we're going to do it. And let's say the extension levels are going to be to the downside. So the extension levels are the 1.272, the 1.414 and the 1.618. So if we lose this low that we printed in July, your target is going to be here at 31 and a half cents, which is exactly the level I gave you here uh, as the 0 0.382 level off the large Fibonacci retracement. So there is some confluence in the zone, as you can see. 
And on the contrary, what you could do is you could set up another Fib retracement with this swing low that you printed at the end of August and the swing high that you printed in the middle of August. So what you could do is you could take this low, take this high, and your 1.618 target is gonna be here at 73 and a half cents. Or is that, yes, just above 73 and a half cents. So that would mean that if you start breaking this high over here that you printed on August 14th, your technical target is right over here. And this is where I'm gonna, you know, start selling and telling my friends to take some profits if they wanna swing trade or if they wanna get out of their position entirely. This will be a very, very nice uh, swing trade opportunity because once you get to this price, people are going to start taking some profits potentially. Of course, you could see a pump that would take us all the way up to a dollar, but I highly doubt that. And I don't think that's going to happen given the current market conditions because there are multiple bearish events happening. And I just don't know if Cardano can get to a dollar before the end of the year. If it does, great. But for now, I am going to be conservative and taking profits at 74 cents is going to be great. And you can buy back in later, right? You can buy back in at this high over here, just below 60 cents. This would be a great retest zone. But in my opinion, we're going to probably dump if we do see a, a strong pump Close, getting closer to September 22nd. Like I said, once again, you still could have another delay. Now, a uh, very important thing here, we don't want to lose the July low because if that was the case, we would be targeting, you know, 30 cents here roughly. So we don't want to do that. And you want to hold this major key support level that I have for you on the screen. Oh, let me get the price tag for you. Uh, 38 and a half cents because if I start zooming out, you can see that actually I think that's from the weekly chart, but this is basically this swing high here. So slightly below 40 cents. And this is actually where you where you drop twice, once in May, uh, once again in July. And this is basically your buy zone here below 40 cents, like 45 to 40 cents. This is your buy zone. If you start getting below that, because you do have a trading range here, you could go all the way to 30 cents to 28, 27 cents. You could drop down massively here because as you can see, you went down, you went up pretty quickly through this area and you went down pretty quickly through this area because there is no support here, right? You just broke through all these levels and you got overextended very quickly. So yeah, that's just, that's just what I think on Cardano. I am dollar cost averaging into the project right now. I mean, I should say that I stopped for now because I have enough coins, but uh, let's let's see what happens. If we drop massively, I'm going to buy even more. Now, let's take a look at the daily RSI and let's take a look at some potential support levels that we might have. So there is an ascending trend line that I'm seeing here and there is a descending uh, resistance trend line over here. Now, this is called a symmetrical triangle. Now, if we end up breaking out of this triangle, this would be a very, very bullish sign because if you break through a uh, diagonal resistance trend line that you've been back testing multiple times, you usually see a strong breakthrough, right? You could see something like this and you could go up into the overbought, but this is going into November here. So if it's going to be in September 22nd, then we would be somewhere here, right? So if you go anywhere above the index of 70 on a Cardano, on the daily chart, uh, that's a strong sell for me, okay? Because I don't think we're going to be uh, we're going to be staying in this zone for a very long time during a bear market for Cardano. Now, like I said, we had a bounce in March from this resistance level and a bounce here in August. And right now, as you can see, we do have a very, very strong bullish move to the upside after back testing this support trend line at the end of August. So if we break out of this symmetrical triangle, that would be great. We could also dump down, right? If we see a selling, a lot of selling pressure after the update has been completed. Yeah, let's see what happens with Cardano. Definitely a strong project going forward. Take a look at this symmetrical triangle on the daily RSI. Keep in mind all of these support and resistance levels that I just gave you guys. And yeah, let me know what are your targets for Cardano with this update. Are we going to get delayed? What are your thoughts on the Vasil hard fork? Because that will enable the DeFi projects from what I understand. And let's see if we can get Cardano uh, projects going because uh, if the ecosystem is going to be very successful, then we could see a supply shock just like we did with BNB and the price of Cardano can surge, obviously. 
but we have to be ready for both outcomes. Let's be conservative here, guys. After all, this is still a bear market and Bitcoin is below $20,000. So manage your expectations, please. Don't uh, don't have high expectations so that you won't be, uh, you know, spiritually destroyed after the coin doesn't perform as well as you thought it would. So thank you all for watching. Feel free to follow me on Twitter. Feel free to join me on Patreon, guys. I do drop in my low cap gems in there. TA analysis, project reviews, low cap gem calls, trade alerts, all that stuff is going to be in there. The link is down below in the description. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.